so I finally played Assassin's Creed Valhalla The Dawn of Ragnarok DLC, the last DLC for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I played all the other Assassin's Creed games, I played the DLCs for this game, I am a big fan of the series, it's what my channel is about, but this one took me a while to get through. And not for the good reasons. And I have a ton to say about it because it feels like everything that could go wrong with this DLC did go wrong and I want to dissect it because it's genuinely baffling how a DLC can be this anti-fun and just boring and I don't know how they managed to make this but I want to break it down and talk about it today. So first of all if you know me or watched any of my videos then you know I'm not a negative person. I don't like making videos complaining about stuff. I like making videos about things that I enjoy but I felt like I need to play this DLC because I played Valhalla for like 200 hours and I played the two DLCs that came out before this one, the Wrath of the Druids DLC and the Siege of Paris, which, spoiler alert, I kinda liked. I really did enjoy them for as long as they lasted. After I finished the DLCs, they kind of fizzled out, out of my memory, but I did enjoy playing through them. So I felt like I am just needed to play this DLC. And I did, and I honestly wish I didn't. It's the longest one between the DLCs, it's the most boring one, and it's the least interesting one and I um, just want to be clear this is not coming out of hate for the mythical side of the series actually Odyssey is one of my favorite games in the whole series I love all the mythical monsters you fight in that game and how it connects to this Isu story and I think it is really an interesting way to take the series add to that the normal of course the normal assassin stuff I don't think they come with direct hate against each other the assassin side and the mythical side, I think that it can be used to improve the games by using both sides of the story kind of deal, but this is not it. This is not a good assassin story and this is not a good mythical story. And there are a lot of things wrong with it, but I want to start mainly with the characters. Because hands down, that's the worst thing about Valhalla as a whole but especially with this DLC. First of all, like, what the hell did they do with the dwarves? Why do they look like children with adult heads? It's real weird. It feels like it doesn't look good, doesn't feel good talking to them. Their accents are kind of weird and they just look bad. They don't look like dwarves. They look like normal children with adult heads. And I don't know how that can happen. I don't know who approved it at Ubisoft, but it looks really, really shitty. And I really hope I really wish that they would have done a better job with it because it really breaks my immersion every time I talk to them. And the other NPCs are kind of fine, like the Musfuls, who are the main enemies, do look good and I don't mind the way they look and I think they don't add too much to their gameplay combat loop, but they look fine. But the dwarves, man, they look so bad and I think they are the biggest, hands down, the biggest problem with this DLC. Every time I look at a dwarf in this DLC, it ruins my immersion. And it's not like they have anything interesting to say, you know? It would be half a problem if they looked bad, but they had a good story to tell. But they don't. The story is kind of boring. Eivor just goes into this new Svartalfheim realm to save his son Baldur which is an interesting promise, I guess, but they really don't add anything on top of that. It's as basic and simple as it can be. Sure, it adds more personality to him and like the Isu side of Eivor and whatnot, but it's really not that interesting. It's just as predictable as you think it will be. And these dwarves don't have anything to add to it. They don't feel like they are a unique race with their unique culture. The whole landscape of Svartalfheim just looks like England with a couple of floating rocks here and there. There are some interesting locations like this giant bridge that I found or these big like statues that are scattered around. Those make it feel look unique. But other than those, it just feels like England all over again. And that's a problem with Valhalla as a whole. It feels like the whole game including its DLC is just England. But I really hoped or expected for this DLC to have a specific unique location like for example what Odyssey did with its Atlantis DLC. Say whatever you want about Atlantis but it didn't look like anything else in that game. You cannot confuse Atlantis with Greece. In this game if I squint my eyes I could think that I was still in England and I think that's one of the big problems with it. It doesn't feel unique, it doesn't feel like it's worth going here because it's just another faction. Like, it's just another faction like the ones we had in England. The only difference is, instead of kings, there are, like, lords or whatever. Gods. 
but it's really not that interesting. Now, if you're like me, then you can deal with a bad story if the gameplay is fun, and I was hoping that the saving grace of this DLC would be its gameplay, but honestly, it's not. One main problem that I had with Valhalla that I did expand upon in my other videos is that I felt like the game was too easy. Say what you want about Odyssey, but it was a hard game if you put it on the max difficulty. You really had to build your character into a specific skill tree and like specialize in it. You felt like you needed to improve your character. In Valhalla it doesn't feel like it. I always play on the maximum difficulty and it's just way, way easier than anything else I played in the series and not even good. At least the other games like Black Flag were baby easy, but it looked flashy and fun to see. This game is easy and it doesn't look good to see. So it kind of loses me on both sides. The new enemies add some abilities here and there, but mostly they just teleport and throw shit at you from afar. So it's really not that deep of a gameplay loop of this DLC. Other than the combat itself, the gameplay loop is just the same shit we did in England. You go find hidden treasures that are always, always a weapon or a shirt or some shit, some shit like that. The clothes, I mean, of the game, they are too buff. It is what I was hoping for because I really, really hated how in the main game everything looked so clunky on Eivor and golden, but not nice golden, like ugly gold. I was hoping that since this DLC is a mythical kind of deal, maybe they will give Eivor some clothes that actually fit him nicely and look good. But no, everything is still way oversized or at least feels like it, looks bad and way too golden and really just not good looking. And now lastly, just so the video isn't full on bitching for 5 minutes, let's talk about some good stuff. First of all, the game still looks amazing. Valhalla, one of its strong points was the amazing graphical fidelity and it still looks amazing here. The vistas look great, the characters, even though they are very badly designed, graphically they look great. They also have that plastic look that Ubisoft likes to do, but they do look great. The armors look good, like you can see how kind of material they are made of, even though I don't like their design again, but you can see the graphical fidelity. The game has a really high graphical fidelity and I did appreciate that and it's a good sign for the future. And you can see in Mirage actually that it's still held up to Valhalla and it looks graphically really great. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is that the gameplay feels good. It's not deep, it's not fun, it's not anything interesting, but it feels good. When you press a button, the feedback is good, and it's just nice to customize your characters. There is a lot of different kind of customization items in this DLC, and you do get a good bang for your buck. It's more than 10 hours long, and it is the most expensive DLC, but it also is the longest. You get a big open world with it, so I feel like money-wise it is worth it. So. That was kind of all the positives I had. I really wish I could say more, but I'm really struggling here. I want to say something good about it, but nothing is coming to mind. One last nitpick that I wanted to mention is the screen tearing. It's still horrible in the game. It was bad in the big north city when the game came out. But then they fixed it with some updates. I'm playing on PlayStation 5, by the way. And the DLC has a lot of screen tearing and kind of bad performance. I wasn't expecting it because usually Assassin's Creed games are really smooth and polished. So it is surprising, but go into this knowing that, yeah, there is a lot of screen tearing. And I'm playing on PlayStation 5, so if you're playing on anything else, it's probably even worse. So that is a big nitpick that I have. But all in all, that's all I had to say about this DLC. It's boring. I really don't like to be a bitcher and a downer, but man, this DLC disappointed me. I did like the first two, like I said, so I wasn't expecting a masterpiece, but I was ex expecting something on the same level as the Atlantis DLC. And this wasn't that. a lot worse. I would say that the only one reason that you might be interested in getting this DLC is if you really 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 do love the Norse mythology and you really really loved Valhalla and you didn't play the other DLCs then you might get this one on a discount do not buy it full price but other than that I don't think you should get this DLC I honestly feel like I wasted my time I know that people say that Valhalla as a whole is a waste of time but honestly it was kind of fun going through the game even though it was too long, but I did enjoy my time with it while it lasted. But this DLC, I genuinely wish I could take back the time because I didn't enjoy it, not for one second. Nothing 
comes to mind that is positive about this DLC and I don't think you should get it. But my next video is gonna be something a little more positive, it's probably gonna be about Assassin's Creed 3. Excuse me for being late with my videos, I'm going through a rough time with university. I know that's more of a personal thing, so I am trying to get videos out as fast as I can, let me know what you're interested in. It's mostly gonna be Assassin's Creed stuff, but I am excited to make more videos. For now, that's all I had to say about this DLC. If you're interested in more Assassin's Creed stuff, check out the channel, check out your screen right now. You have a video on screen. And other than that, thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe, do the usual YouTube stuff. And as always, have a nice day.